Downing Street, home to prime ministers, a seat of power, the most famous front door in the world. Four years ago, I was thrilled to be one of a group of entrepreneurs that worked here, number 10, on a new campaign, Startup Britain. In Europe today, five million of its 25 million small businesses are here in the UK. That makes Britain one of the most successful entrepreneurial nations in the world. Startup Britain owed much of its success to the support of a man who has spent most of the last five years working here. He served as the Prime Minister's Enterprise Advisor. A true champion for entrepreneurs at the heart of government, he's also the only man with his own office at number 10 other than the Prime Minister. And he's known simply as this, the dude of Downing Street, Lord Young of Grafham. Well, first of all, perhaps we could start with, you know, how do you see yourself? Entrepreneur, politician? Mixed up. Mixed up. <laughs> because I spent large parts of my life as an entrepreneur, and I will again. And I've spent now 15 years in, in government, 10 years in the 80s, and five years now, just coming to the end of five years, and naturally entrepreneurial. I went off to work for myself, and I have never forgotten the sense of freedom when I started to work for myself. Of course it wasn't easy yes. and, and there were difficult times, but it's so you know, fulfilling working for yourself that I was determined to give as many other people and, the and, opportunity. And, and, has that, and that's carried you through in, into yes. public service within the sort of the four walls of Downing Street. Give us a yes. little sense about how does the enterprise agenda play out here? My job is simply to get the economy going through small firms, mm. through new firms, growing firms, and that's what I've been doing. I've done a number of reports on small firms and really working with a whole lot of, of young, enthusiastic people who have transformed the whole situation. There has been a revolution in this country after 2010 to a time now that the majority of young people leave school, want to work for themselves, they don't know how. We've never had a larger number of companies which are growing up now. More and more people are working for themselves. More and more people, 19 out of 20 firms are under 10. OK, so let's look at this parliamentary term. Yeah. Um, 2010, you're sat at this desk, presumably. What was your analysis of, of the job to be done? We came in to a, a scene of utter carnage and disaster. Right. I mean, it is difficult to exaggerate how bad the crash of 08 was mm -hmm. and how everybody had lost their confidence and lost their way. I wanted to make it. sure that we had a, a growing small firm sector. Right. That, that was the key thing. Remember, we had high unemployment. Uh, we, if you look across the whole of Europe, Europe was a, was a disaster zone. We, we had unemployment later uh, at 65 percent. Mm for young people under 25. I mean, that, that is an impossibility, really. And we have unemployment 25, 30% around the rest of Europe. So my, my first concern was to get young people back working for themselves. Right. And let's talk about Startup Britain. I mean, if you were to give that a scorecard, what would you think the impact of Startup Britain was? Oh, it, the impact was tremendous, much bigger than the six people, eight people involved in it. It, it set the sea nationally, it, it came across, and it is actually from that time the number of startups went up and up and up. In a few weeks, few months, uh, there'll be a general election. You will leave your role in, in Downing Street. How would you sort of view this government's achievements over the last five years in the small business space? Small business space, yes, it's, it's the best there's been for, for decades, actually. There has been a revolution in this country after 2010 to a time now that the majority of young people leave school, want to work for themselves, 19 out of 20 firms are under 10. We've got a tremendously good startup rate. Without boring you with figures, the under 800,000 firms of, of the, uh, the Bolton era, 1979, the two and a half million in the early 90s, are now 5.2 million and going north right. vertically. Thinking back over this job, um, and indeed um, your very illustrious career, what, what would be some of the highlights that you might sort of um, take away with you to sort of uh, to well, think about? The last four years have been as good four years of my life as any time, and that includes all the other things I've done. Because um, I've been surrounded by a great group of people, tremendous enthusiasm, and everything has worked. Now, in public life, 
that isn't, doesn't happen too often. So the programs we brought in have worked uh, and, and we can see the results coming through. If you were dragged back here in the middle of May for, a, for another five year term, um, what, what, what do you think the, sort of the priorities ought to be going forward when you look into the future? The parliament we're just finishing was about startups. We've now got to find ways in which we can build up a number of companies which go between probably 10, 20 to 60 employees. Yes. And that's very important for stability in the long run. In 2010, being an entrepreneur was still a fairly niche activity. Here we are in 2015, it's the number one career uh, aspiration of, of students coming out of university. Is, is it going to be the future for Britain? Unless it's stopped. Unless you have a government that doesn't want to encourage it, puts restrictions on it. One minister in the last administration famously left a letter in his desk which said there's no money left. Um, if you were leaving a letter to your successor, what might it, what might it say? Well, to my successor, don't ruin it. We've got it going well. Lord Young of Grafham, thank you very much indeed. Lord Young is a statesman, a truly remarkable optimist, and he inspires people around the country with everything that he's done on the enterprise agenda. When the country goes to the polls in May, what's at stake is who sits behind the desk behind this front door. Over the next five years, the real mission for the nation has got to be about that journey from startup to growth businesses.